At the recent Dubai Air Show, the jets dazzling spectators in the sky weren't the only story. The real intrigue was happening on the ground, centered around a static model of China's J-35A stealth fighter. Its presence wasn't just a simple display, it was the starting gun for a whole new era of global competition. By putting a model of its premier stealth jet on the world stage, Beijing made its intentions crystal clear. The exclusive club of fifth-generation fighter suppliers is about to get a new member. And while headlines have been swirling for months around persistent rumors of a landmark deal with Pakistan, the J-35A has several other hidden advantages that suggest America's F-35 is about to face its most serious challenger yet. This isn't just about another fighter jet, it's a bold move in a global chess match for influence, technology, and military might. For decades, getting your hands on a top-tier stealth aircraft was a privilege reserved for the US and its closest friends. With the J-35A, China isn't just selling a machine, it's selling an alternative path. Today, we're breaking down five hidden advantages of the J-35A that weren't in any brochure, advantages that could completely reshape air power for the next generation. The first, and maybe the most disruptive, advantage of the J-35A isn't about its specs at all. It's about who can actually buy it. For years, the F-35 program has been run like an exclusive club. To get in, your country needs to be a tight strategic ally of the United States, survive a maze of political approvals, and sign off on strict agreements that dictate how and where the jet can be used. Washington holds all the keys, and a lot of nations aren't on the guest list. China is setting up the J-35A as the perfect answer to this. It's the no-strings-attached fifth-gen fighter. Beijing is actively marketing the jet to nations in the Middle East, Southeast Asia, and Africa. Many of these countries are either blocked from buying Western stealth fighters or are just tired of the political baggage that comes with them. The J-35A model at the Dubai Airshow was a direct signal to potential buyers like the UAE and Saudi Arabia. You now have another option. This sales strategy cuts right to the heart of a key pillar of American foreign policy, using advanced arms sales as a diplomatic tool. By offering a comparable capability without the political loyalty tests, China is giving countries a new path to strategic freedom. It allows a nation to build a modern, stealth-capable air force without having to align its foreign policy with Washington's. This isn't just an aircraft sale. It's a geopolitical power play that challenges the very foundation of Western dominance in the global arms market. The second hidden advantage is all about the money. The F-35 is famously expensive, not just to buy, but to fly and maintain. The total lifetime cost for the entire program, across all countries and decades, is projected to be an astronomical figure, with some estimates exceeding $1.7 trillion. For many countries, even the base price of a single F-35 is a deal-breaker. China has clearly spotted this as the F-35's Achilles heel. While there's no official price tag on the J-35A, analysis and unconfirmed reports from late 2025 all point to a strategy built for maximum disruption. Whispers in the defense community suggest a unit cost that's significantly lower than its American rival. More importantly, the sales pitch goes way beyond the sticker price. Recent reports surrounding the potential Pakistan deal, for instance, have included speculation about steep discounts and generous payment terms, making the J-35A seem far more accessible for nations with tight defense budgets. This completely changes the business model for stealth fighters. It could turn the J-35A from a high-end luxury good into a more widely available strategic weapon. By lowering the financial barrier, China can equip its allies with next-gen tech boost its own defense industry, and lock in decades of maintenance contracts. This aggressive, cost-first approach means that fleet size, a critical factor in any conflict, could end up favoring J-35A operators who can simply afford to buy and fly more jets. This financial strategy alone could totally upend the global fighter market, but it's only one piece of the puzzle. If you're finding this breakdown of the shifting power dynamics valuable, do us a favor and hit that subscribe button. Because what we're about to cover next is maybe the most powerful, long-term advantage China is bringing to the table, one the West will find almost impossible to counter. 
The third hidden advantage is that China isn't just selling an airplane, it's reportedly selling a full-blown partnership. When a country buys an F-35, it buys a finished product, a black box of incredible technology. The US keeps an iron grip on the jet's most sensitive systems, software, and data. Major upgrades and maintenance depend almost entirely on US approval and contractors. China seems to be taking a radically different approach. The rumored offer for the J-35A extends far beyond the jet itself. The sales pitch is said to include comprehensive packages that could feature technology transfer, opportunities for local assembly, and joint training programs. For any developing nation, this is a massive incentive. It's a chance not just to get a stealth fighter, but to build up its own aerospace industry, create a skilled workforce, and gain a real understanding of fifth-generation technology. This creates a long-term strategic bond that's much stickier than a simple buyer-seller relationship. It embeds Chinese technology, doctrine, and influence into a partner nation's military for decades. By helping allies build their own capabilities, China positions itself as an essential strategic partner. This is a sharp contrast to the often transactional feel of Western arms deals. While the F-35 offers seamless integration with US and NATO forces, the J-35A offers something just as tempting, the promise of self-reliance. The fourth advantage is wrapped up in one big strategic gamble, the potential deal with Pakistan. While some Pakistani officials have tried to cool down the speculation, calling it media chatter, persistent reports throughout 2025 from government social media and defense outlets suggest a deal to acquire the J-35A is, at the very least, being seriously considered. If this deal goes through, Pakistan would become the first international operator of a Chinese stealth fighter, a move with huge symbolic and practical weight. Symbolically, it would make Pakistan one of the very few nations with a low observable combat jet, instantly shifting the perceived military balance in South Asia. This would put enormous pressure on its rival, India, to fast-track its own stealth fighter program, which isn't expected to be fully operational until around 2035. Practically, the deal gives China the perfect real-world test lab. Having the Pakistan Air Force operate the J-35A would give Beijing priceless data on the jet's performance, maintenance needs, and logistics in a foreign environment. It's one thing to test a fighter in your own controlled airspace, it's another to see how it performs under the demanding conditions of an export partner. A success story in Pakistan would be the ultimate marketing tool, a proof of concept for every other interested country. It would turn the J-35A's promise into proven performance on the world stage. The final hidden advantage is technical. The F-35 is designed to work inside a deeply integrated network of American and allied systems. Its incredible sensor fusion is its greatest strength, but it's also a potential constraint, as it's optimized for a very specific way of fighting alongside specific allies. The J-35A, on the other hand, appears to be designed with a more flexible, open architecture philosophy in mind. While not officially confirmed, this approach is a strategic necessity if you want to sell to non-aligned nations. It would make it far easier for a customer to integrate the fighter with their existing inventory of jets, sensors, and communication systems, whether they're from Russia, Europe, or built at home. You wouldn't have to rebuild your whole military to accommodate one new aircraft. This flexibility likely extends to its weapons. The J-35A carries its weapons internally to stay stealthy and is armed with formidable Chinese missiles like the PL-15. This long-range air-to-air missile is designed to threaten the large support aircraft, like tankers and AWICS, that are the backbone of Western air power. With a reported top speed exceeding Mach 1.8, the J-35A is faster than the F-35 and is being developed as a powerful air superiority fighter making it a tailored threat designed to challenge the West's dominance in beyond visual range combat. So, what does this all mean? The arrival of the J-35A on the world market is way more than just a new piece of hardware. It's a coordinated attack on the status quo. Through an accessible no-strings sales model, a disruptive cost strategy, the promise of genuine partnership, a clever proving ground, and a flexible design, China is systematically taking apart the West's monopoly on advanced air power. The J-35A isn't just an F-35 lookalike, 
It's a direct challenge to the entire business and strategic model that has defined Western air power for a generation. The global chessboard is being reset, and the J-35A is China's powerful next move. Which of these advantages do you think is the biggest threat to the F-35's market dominance? And who do you think will be next in line after the Pakistan rumors? Let us know your thoughts in the comments below.